What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Platinum Review of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Before we begin, as always we will be talking about the entire trophy list of this game and you will end up seeing some end game gameplay and content here. So consider this your spoiler warning. With that out of the way, let's get into the review. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Man, I have to tell you guys, this game has had me feeling all kinds of way all around this year. Like the whole long time we have been uploading content for it, all the boss fight videos, the brutal challenges, the legendary challenges, doing the streams, getting the platinum, unlocking every other trophy, doing the entire 7 star hotel trophy, like getting every single collectible and every single mini game in the game. This game has really been a true roller coaster ride. Like it has had some ups, it has had some downs, and it has to be quite honest all over the place. So let's talk about it. And before we begin talking about it, the first thing I think we should talk about it is the performance. Like as you guys know, I break down my reviews in terms of gameplay, performance and the storytelling and presentation. Uh, but uh, I think I'm going to speak a little broadly about this game overall. So before I get into anything else, the first thing I want to talk about is the performance and the performance of this game like across the board is pretty good. There have been some issues in my playthrough, I have been like there have been no crashes or anything but there have been some minor frame rate hiccups and this and that and sometimes the game took a bit longer to load than I believe it should or it normally does but apart from that everything is good like the performance across the board is good the game looks good it is very pretty it performs fantastically and yeah like the fast travel system is actually a fast travel system given how big the open world on this game is. You move in and out of combat easily, getting on your chocobos or your mounts and what have not is uh, an issue but I think it is more of an issue of gameplay design and not uh, something that the performance or if it is buggy or something. Yeah, it does feel buggy actually, it really does feel buggy, we'll talk more about that in the presentation part but yeah it's not a performance issue, it is just how the game is designed to be. That is I believe a deliberate attempt on parts of the developer, uh, like on the part of the developer and it's the developer uh, development team's uh, uh, criteria or I would say point of view that we have to consider here. They wanted it to be a certain way and that is the way it is. So that's all I think I will have to say about the performance. Overall, it's pretty good across the board. Like, I don't think I can take anything from the performance. It's almost as close to perfection as you can have with such large open world and big huge games. With the cinematics being excellent, the graphics being excellent, the sound, like you have to talk about the sound quality. We will touch upon that as well uh, in the later section of my review. But yeah, everything across the board, really good. Nothing to uh, really, like no points to take off in terms of performance for this game. For me personally, I would say like, I don't think I can put any, uh, give any slack to this game for, you know, uh, giving me some crashes or burns or anything at any crucial point of my gameplay. So smooth sailing everywhere. If there was some shortcomings in terms of my gameplay or some frustrations I had to deal with, that was on me and not on the game. You yeah. went through my stuff? Now we start talking about the gameplay and the presentation and the story and everything about the game and as I said I'll be talking about everything cumulatively and well what do I tell you Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth to say that this is a big game is truly an understatement because this is a huge giant game this is a big grand adventure and it does feel like it and for lack of a better term i would like to say that this game has it all this game does literally in every sense of the word has it all they have put everything possibly imaginable related to the final fantasy universe in this game and the fact that this game has it all is true in every sense like literally every sense it is true in a good way it is true in a bad way if you would have asked me to describe my perfect open world game 
I think I'll describe Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This game has a lot of different mini games and side activities for me to do. Most of them are fun, most of them are well thought out. There are different mechanics this game keeps introducing as the game goes on. And almost all of them are at least fun to try on. You might like some, you might not like some, but they are at least all fun and they are well thought out with some depth in gameplay. We have different characters we can play with, with different fighting styles and different stances that you want to do. Fluid gameplay, good gameplay, deep gameplay. The combat is really deep and really enjoyable. Great story, great acting. Like I won't say great story though, but yeah, still good story. A grand adventure, the sense of fulfillment for actually overcoming all the challenges this game has to throw at me. And like everything a good open world game should have. And with that, it has great music, like amazing music. The music actually makes this game shine in a lot of places where it should not. But at the same time, if you ask me to explain the most generic open world game, the game that I would not recommend, I think I will still talk about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to some extent or not. It has got that whole open up the map, go do the towers and all those things which we have grown a bit annoyed of at this point there is some grind involved you don't have to level up for grind but you have to level up your uh, stats and your gear and for that there is a grind that you have to do this game has that unfair difficulty spike at some point there are certain things and equipment given to you in the normal playthrough which are totally useless in the hard playthrough because you cannot use any items so that is there and also this game slows it down there is some time sync given into it like where you can actually rush through things but you're not allowed to rush through things because you have to play through that part again and again for the platinum or even just if you're looking to complete the game you have to play through a certain part and it also always slows you down at certain part when you wish to be you know going at one pro i want i just want to go from point a to point b and point c and point d quickly but now you have to walk to point b then you have to crawl to point c and then you have to talk to 55 people before you get to point d so yeah it, this game has those things as well and also there are some broken mechanics some broken mini games which you are I would say forced to deal with like you're forced to deal with in terms if you're going for the platinum but if you're not going for the platinum still if you are a completionist or someone like me you will feel a little burned down on that and there is a little too much of a certain activity like I would have been good with say four or five uh, chocobo races but no there are 25 or 30 chocobo races and something like that and like this game does does tend to overstay its welcome so yeah there is a lot of good and there is a lot of bad and that is all we are going to unpack in this review essentially so let's start doing that let's start unpacking final fantasy 7 rebirth and let's begin with the mini games in terms of mini games and side activities i think there was a developer call there was a group email that went out throughout square enix and that was like bring all your ideas there are no bad ideas and they did truly incorporate all the ideas they could i mean there is a red 13 rocket league type of game in there mini game in there man for crying out loud you get to play with footballs what sense that makes in the final fantasy universe i will let you decide but it's there and it is fun like all i can say is that there are a lot of mini games in this game and you will find something to love like there is something for everyone there's a shooting mini game which i found really exciting i really liked it it had some depth the queen's blood mini game good a really good attempt i would say not as good as went from witcher 3 but pretty damn close like it had me going for i wanted all the next queen's blood card and i wanted to beat my next queen's blood opponent so all that good stuff really good stuff but there is also some bad stuff like the piano mini games i could have done without the chocobo gliding mini games like i really could have done without and some other mini games which you have to do in the hard mode which are annoying which like that is just for the trophy requirement but yeah they do get annoying and they have some broken mechanics and they are not as well thought out as the rest of the game is but still i mean i can make peace with it because this is all optional stuff this is all side stuff all this stuff it is up to you you want to try it you don't want to try it you can simply try play the game play the story enjoy everything ignore everything else you don't like and have fun with it so i don't think i can put any dent or any blame on the developers or the team for that but that is just something i think i should point out what i can put the blame on though are the side quest all the side activities in this game i believe apart from a couple here or there 
are as generic as they possibly can be you have played all these side quests in all the games all the open world games even all the normal games you have played so far single player multiplayer all included these are some of the most boring side quests i have come across even including final fantasy 7 remake like the side quests there were still okay uh, to the extent that they were there in certain parts here you have side quests in every single region of the game and they are across the board all annoying and all finicky all mostly fetch questy and mainly they are annoying because of the fact that getting on and off your mount is a pain in the butt in this game like i don't know what the developers were thinking with that like you can call a chocobo you can run and you while you are running you can ride, get on top of the chocobo and when you are you can enter a combat right off the bat uh, on top from your chocobo or your mount whatever the have not like you get uh, a vehicle or something as well later on and you can get in the into combat i think from that as well uh, but the point is getting on and off like when you end the combat you get off your chocobo when you're into combat when you end combat your chocobo is right next to it you may might get on it the problem is when you get off the chocobo there might be a point of interest you need to interact with and your chocobo or your partner's chocobos keep getting in the way and it just gets annoying like because you are doing certain activities a uh, very many number of times this certain activity of getting your team like when you get on the chocobo your whole team gets on the chocobo and chocobos don't have uh, have proper collision detection so you don't go through your team's chocobos you have bump into them and they become an obstacle and all that like really annoying stuff especially for the side quest because most of the side quests are tied to your mounts and whatnot so that is one thing i must point out like that is a deficit in my book for sure another deficit is the platforming and the climbing or getting up and down the ladders which this game has 50,000 ladders and you slowly climb all of them and then you slowly get off all of them and to add on top of the game some walking section this game has a lot of walking sections where you are forced to walk from one point to another where you could have just run you can see this is where i want to go there is the objective marker just let me run there but no 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 you got a walk or you got a crawl or you got a slowly walk or you got a fumble you got a stumble and i know it's good for the story beat it does hammer in some of the more emphatic points the game is trying to make like something is going on and yeah this is cinematic this is wow moment or something and they want you to take it in they want you to hear all the dialogue or all the character interactions that are going on but come on man just let me get there talk when i'm there no why because most of the time they are done talking and i'm still not there annoying then again i think i might be able to let this skip but then there is one major uh, pothole for me personally that i was not able to overcome and that is the story like i would like to point out before i say this that the story is good the entire journey it's a grand journey it's good character acting voice acting music everything across the board really good my point is that the main story arc that you follow in this game like the point a that you start into the point b that you end up because we know this is the mid tier this is the middle part of a trilogy so you are not getting into any major expositions and not getting your what you say final adieu with most of the characters that are involved but still like i think this entire story the entire story of final fantasy 7 rebirth to me personally feels like a fart in the hurricane honestly like it feels like indiana jones and the crystal skull movie whatever you call it like even if say avalanche group was not there i think shindra and sephiroth and everyone involved will do the exact same stuff they did and they will end up at the same exact same stop uh, like point they ended up by the end of this game like it feels like all the characters we are interacting with everything we are doing has no significance at all in this entire game in this entire grand arc of things that is going on like, i don't want to spoil stuff here but yeah i think apart from the main ending the last chapter chapter 14 everything from chapter 1 to chapter 13 will happen exactly i believe the way it it is supposed to happen even if cloud and his team of eco terrorist and his group of eco terrorists were not there they were not involved they were not doing anything if they just went out for a nightcap and came back the next day just to start at the point where chapter 14 is everything would have been the same is what i feel like and with all this said 
one major deficit that i do have to give this game is chadley like man if chadley is not a negative point in my books i don't know what is like chadley that character in himself is a whole one point of this game i believe for sure because that character talks a lot that character talks slows down the game a lot like that character is annoying a lot a lot a lot he talks to you 55 times in 5 minutes and he is saying the same damn thing he said the first time and it's so annoying like anything like if you just skip all of chadley's conversations i think this 40 50 hour story just the story of this game the final fantasy 7 that is will like shuffle down to 30 35 hours so that's 15 hours of just one guy talking i honestly believe chadley is the one and has the most lines for any npc ever in any video game and none of them are good he is totally entirely completely useless and yet you have to deal with him so yeah chadley you are the pain, uh, pain in the butt and final fantasy 7 rebirth has suffered because of you and i really really hope the developers do take note of this and with all of that thing said now we come to my dilemma and my dilemma is that even when there are so many negative things that i pointed out in this game there are so many things there is so many stuff that the developers could have done better which is just the norm right now like all the other games are doing this they could have done the same and we would have been better for it we would have enjoyed the game more for it this game would have been a bonafide masterpiece a timeless game for that but it is not but yet after all this after all the things i have said the main thing the one thing that i keep coming back to is the time i spent with final fantasy 7 rebirth like even with when dealing with all these negative points and with all the positive points considered i just remember the good stuff i just remember the good things i remember the good uh, interaction that cloud had with tifa i just remember that good exposition that erith had with cloud and i remember how yufi joined our team and i remember what fun i had beating that boss and what fun i had beating the other boss and how really close as snails came uh, uh, like literally close battle that was with gilgamesh or sephiroth or some other enemy and i was like i just came out on top and i was so happy i had my hands up in the air and i was yelling and i was crying and i was jumping with joy or something or the not and this game made me feel all these great emotions which a lot of other games are not able to so yeah as i said all things considered final fantasy 7 rebirth is a good game the memories that i am left with at this point are amazing memories the memories that i am not i am feeling bad about or the things that i am not very high on are there in the back of my head and they do bring the game down a couple of notches but still this is a great game that i would honestly like to recommend to everyone and i believe from all the games i've played this year this is one of the best games so far this is a sure fire contender for game of the year right now now that we are done talking about the game let's talk about the trophies of this game and the trophy list of this game pretty much makes me feel the same way that the game does itself like i don't like it i don't like most of the thing they have made me do the brutal and legendary challenges have been a real real damn pain but at the same point beating them and coming out on top has made me feel more joy and more sent that sense of accomplishment more amazing and like a true gamer than any other game has in a long while even dark souls and elden ring included then there is the grind in that game that is annoying that i had to do to level up my materia there are some mini games which i really 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 truly hated there were too many queen's blood cards to get maybe there were too many mini games to do maybe which i had to do for the platinum there were some side activities which as i said the side activities are not good side activities even for the platinum are not good there is no point say talking about the side activities because that is just going to bring me down and bum everyone out but yeah even when all that is said and done i am really glad i got the platinum of this game it was an atrocious task 200 hours that is not talking about something simple this game took me 200 hours to beat all the brutal challenges almost broke me all the legendary challenges and everything all these things almost broke me 
at one point i was thinking about giving up on the platinum but i did not and i achieved the platinum and i'm really happy for it so the trophy list of this game while annoying there are some difficulty spikes because the brutal and legendary challenges seriously turn all everything up to 11 instantly and if you are just coming out of a normal playthrough and trying to do the brutal and legendary challenges you will be taken aback but yeah even when with all this said they are really good they are really fun they make you realize the depth of combat this game does that annoying thing where you have to play the game twice to get the hard mode trophies and everything is turned up to 11 in hard mode you got no mp regeneration you just get hp so you have to focus on your combat and not focus on the materia that you will spend i don't know how many hours leveling up so far all these things are there but still with everything said the platinum is great it is a great amazing achievement you will have a lot of fun doing it you will try you will try to break your controller you will maybe try to break your tv you please don't break your console you might try to put your head through a wall you might try to put your hand through a wall you might try to put your controller through a wall don't do that it's going to hurt you're going to cry and then you are going to come back again and try to beat this game with a broken controller and it's not going to help you especially when you have a broken hand as well but all that can happen so the game is frustrating the platinum is frustrating but looking back at it i only remember the good moments i remember how all my friends everyone in my playstation group would come to me and talk to me hey you beat that particular challenge i see you to get got that trophy can you help me with that all that sense of accomplishment doing that helping the community the community coming out and reaching out to me maybe it happened with you as well so all those things feel great that is what we play these video games for that is why we do this trophy hunting for and i got all that sense from this game so i am really glad for it like for better or worse although final fantasy 7 rebirth has given me more pain than probably any other game has given me in a long time it has given me more joy than that and that is where i would like to leave it so now with everything said and done that brings us down to the scores and i would simply like to score final fantasy 7 rebirth as a game a 9 out of 10 like everything i said about the game stands there are a lot of talking points there are a lot of shortcomings but overall all the things i remembered about the game are good i only have good memories at this point i only feel really happy that i got to beat this game and play this game at this point and that is where i stand the one point i'm taking off is totally because of chadley no chadley in this game could have been a 10 but this game has a chadley so unfortunately it's a 9 out of 10 talking about the platinum same score 9 out of 10 very good very challenging platinum a bit grindy as well a long platinum you really have to put your skin like sink your teeth into this game you need to know how every element of the gameplay works and since the gameplay and the combat is so good I can't actually fault the developers for making me do that because if not for the trophies I might have ignored some of that stuff so I feel good about it I feel good that I know all the counters for all the different characters like Red 13 can counter Cloud can counter heck even Tifa can dodge and counter and all the other characters can pressure someone or someone can be a good magic build like Aerith is good with magic Red 13 is good with magic Barret is good as a tank Yuffie is good as everything Yuffie is just a killing machine Tifa is a stagger machine I know all these things right now Kate said total wild card but when it works it works when it doesn't it still works so yeah the core gameplay the core gameplay of this game is really really solid but the certain things that I cannot give up are some of the mini games are super annoying could have been better it does feel that at certain for certain mini games for the hard mode the developers just went to sleep they were like okay we give up just do anything and some of the other side activities could have been avoided the second play through while good while very uh, enjoyable they could have been it could have been handled a little bit differently they could have just made us do the boss fights without mp regeneration or something like but it's just like it's so close to perfection i believe this game the platinum and the game both the things are just so close to perfection but not quite there and that is where what i really feel and that is where i leave you guys like you can help me in the comments if you feel differently or feel anything apart from that but that is where i stand people
so there you have it folks my platinum review for final fantasy 7 rebirth i have been making content for this game for four maybe five months at this point it has been a long journey but we have done this together you can see all my progress on my channel and a lot of you have joined me on this right a lot of you have sent shared your feedback on this right i think i went from like 200 or 400 subscribers to almost 2000 subscribers just because of this game so i would like to thank the makers of this game the developers at square enix thank you for this and also to you people like you joined in you tuned in you showed your support that means a lot and i love you for it so this is where i what i will leave you with and please as always wherever you are whatever you're doing stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games this is your friend galactus and this has been a great time talking to you about final fantasy 7 rebirth my sweet child knocking a person's physical appearance is tacky and beneath me instead i'll simply cause you all into fight you till you die